Hello and welcome to the big picture. Ease of doing business rankings, one of the most important indicators of a country's environment for small and medium businesses, evolved by the evolved by the World Bank, known as International Financial Corporations Rankings, has come out for the year 2017. India ranked 130 among the 190 countries. However, has not made any improvement from last year. Last year, after adjustment, India ranked 130. was downgraded to 131 this lack this lack of improvement in the rankings though indian government was hoping to jump substantially this year by at least 10 if not 20 ranks has triggered a strong reaction as well as disappointment in the government though several reform measures have been undertaken by the government they feel it is not reflected in these rankings the only bright side in these rankings is that india has improved substantially in getting electricity for businesses and enforcing contracts out of the 10 parameters india has slipped down in five of them and in three more there is a status quo we will today look at what these rankings are what do they mean to the country and government how these rankings affects business environment and why india is stuck even below all the brics countries even as pakistan has been ranked as one of the top 10 improvers to discuss this i have with me nitin desai former chief economic advisor at government of india ajay shankar former secretary department of industrial policy and promotion uh arbin prasad former director general fiki and pk arun editor opinion economic times welcome to all of you mr ajay shankar this this ranking system how rigorous is it uh, this is a methodology which the world bank has evolved across the planet or across the world and it undergoes a peer review and audit and it's pretty robust so i would not question the 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 methodology or the ranking system yes there could be some other parameters which may be important for india and in the indian context but uh, this is a well accepted practice the uh, mr desai 130 among the 190 countries why is india still you know lagging behind so much i think basically uh, the government did a mistake in trying to give a target for this index say we want to get to 50 if you look at this index most of these items are not within the control of the central government at all getting construction permits for instance is not within the control of the central uh, government or for instance uh, uh, the registering of property this is not within the control it is at this, basically it's the way the administration works at state level which will decide and the other thing enforcing contract you said is not a very big improvement from 178 to 172 is not such a huge right. we are still one of the worst countries in terms of enforcement of contract uh, afghanistan is better than india on that of course how they enforce contracts in afghanistan <laughs> i don't different. know but that's a different story but uh, the fact is that uh, the the few things uh, that are positive in this uh, the, uh, index which worked for us one our capital market this is why on getting credit uh protection of minority shareholders we are exceptionally good i mean minority you know, shareholder protection we, we, are, we, we are our rank is quite good but we have gone down actually as far well, as very marginal not marginally. nothing much uh, but the fact is we are still very way, way up in the global uh, uh, ranking Index. getting electricity as you said now that's one thing second uh, i don't think the index captures uh, many key items of the ease of doing business for instance infrastructure other than electricity nothing else is if you improve your roads improve your ports it's not there it does not include anything on the tax side. for instance tomorrow if i bring in gst it's a huge improvement in the ease of doing business in india particularly but, but there is a there is a parameter called paying taxes paying taxes but that's nothing to do with gst, GST. that is just a, if you look at the, the individual parameters they are procedural uh parameters how much time does it take to file a return how much time does it take to get an assessment that type of thing but the uh, the structural change that the gst brings in and so in in some senses i would say the government should not be obsessed about this index just go ahead and do what you think is necessary from the perspective of small and medium enterprises in this country uh also start working with the state governments the other thing one final thing i want to mention here is that two key items depend on the judicial process enforcement of contracts and resolving in insolvency and our judicial process is a huge mess in terms of delays etc 
And there's nothing, very little that the government can do to clear it. A few things they can do, like the income tax saying, we will not go in appeal uh, on judgments beyond a certain limit, etc. But there's very little the government can do. So don't get stuck on targets for this index. Just go by the base, what you really need to do from the perspective of this country. Don't go by this business of what is going to look like in this index. You know. Okay. Mr. Arvind Prasad, how do you look at these rankings? It does, does, the business, does the business feel that these rankings, uh, you know, the environment is much better than what these rankings uh, indicate? Does the business feel like that at all? Well, yes, I'll come to this point. But I'll be, to begin with, let me slightly differ with Mr. Desai when he said that government or prime minister should not have announced this as a national, as a target. I think that uh, Mr. Desai has rightly explained that not everything depends on the central government. But when Prime Minister announced, it was not the goal of the Prime Minister or the central government, it was a national goal. And that setting a goal has helped government of India in bringing some consensus across other parties involved, like state government, like judiciary. So there is increasing perception among all stakeholders that India needs to improve the overall environment of doing business. And therefore, to that extent, uh, the announcement by the Prime Minister of a national goal, not necessarily in terms of index uh, in, uh, announced by the World Bank, but overall ease of doing business is a very good goal. And I think, as Mr. Ajay Sankar has explained, with all the demerits in the World Bank report, it does give a framework to make a comparison across the globe. And to that extent, it is a really important objective, a really, and Fortunately, like earlier, uh, the government used to dispute this ranking and methodology. Though even now, government of India sometimes raises the doubt about its methodology. They take it as it is given and try to improve. They have created a team. So I think it is an overall good direction to work upon, uh, gets a measurement to, uh, so that you don't just stay, say yourself, but it does indicate how you are going. Now, in terms of actual experience of doing business, as you mentioned, yes. besides this ranking, major reforms which have this government <coughs> has, has initiated are yet to be seen on the ground level, like GST. Or definitely, in what way it affects rank, I'm quite sure it will affect rank as well in two or three different ways, but it will definitely improve the ease of doing business. Uh, similarly, the bankruptcy laws, it has not come into the full force. It will come in December or November. It will definitely is uh, a particularly a starting business, those who fear that may not succeed and will have to close the business. Similarly, the court that the whole uh, court or division bench for commercial courts, it is yet, yet to be fully played. But to improve the ranking, I think there are many more things to be done. For Mr. example, Mr. Prasad, registration of property. No, Mr. Prasad. Uh, registration of property in terms Mr. Prasad, of legality, we'll come to in terms that. of process, it Mr. can Prasad, be improved very. Sorry, sorry to intervene, Mr. Prasad. Okay. No, my question was this: you know, how is the business looking at it? Is the does the business feel differently from the way these rankings indicate to us? No, as, as you can see, there is a definite positive approach from the government of India towards the business and ease of doing business. Earlier, uh, most of the government machinery will feel shy of engaging with the business and industry in terms of doing ease of doing business. They used to say it will be beneficial to the businessman. Now it has become a national goal, national objective to facilitate doing business. And that changes the approach at different level in the government. And that can perceptibly be seen by those who engage with governments in different, at different levels. Okay. Okay. Uh, Arun, this, you know, first, first uh, this setting goal, the Prime Minister set a goal that, you know, we should reach 50. And then, you know, at least 70 this year and 50 next year. You think this setting goals has, has helped? And, uh, you know, how is it going to help? You know? And what do you think of the, of the rank itself? See, my feeling is that uh, we are trying to gain the index. Uh, create some improvement in some indices uh, to show to the world uh, that it's a perception management game. I don't think that's the way to go about this. I agree with uh, Dr. Deshai that substantively where we stand on the index matters far less than the actual experience of 
being able to start a business in India and run it efficiently. Now you say this is based on Bombay and Delhi actually, this index. Right. If you go to Kanpur, you ask the businessman, how easy is it for you to get credit? If he's a small guy, he finds it very difficult. And no bank will give him a loan. He has to go to an informal uh, credit system, uh, raise a loan somehow. Now we have set up some small banks, uh, mudra banks, mudra etc. Banks. Once they kick in, it will actually become easier for people to get uh, credit. That is not reflected in, reflected in the ranking. We already are way ahead in ease of uh, getting credit. So the many things this index actually doesn't capture. And I don't think uh, we should take it uh, way too seriously. We should not be obsessed with uh, this index. And we should not try to gain the uh, index to improve our ranking. Whereas we have to do things like have the political will to tell consumers, if you want stable power supply, please pay for the power you consume. Not only industry, agriculture, uh, uh, individual household consumers, everybody must pay for the power they consume. Then you will have a viable power sector, you will be able to supply reliable power throughout the day and you will be able to make, uh, actually be able to run a uh, um, business. Similarly, when it, we are a very low trust society. Yeah. Now you have to tackle that. <clears throat> huh? Okay, Mr. Uh, Ajay Shankar, yeah. uh, as far as this, you know, what uh, both <coughs> Mr. Desai and Arun says, that we don't have to run behind these rankings. We can, but how does the how how does the world look at these rankings? How 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 much how much does it affect say the, the the business environment, the FDI and things like that, which comes into this country as far as these rankings are concerned? Uh, I will respond by quoting the head of an MNC in a public platform. He said, "More than ease of doing <coughs> business, I need business." <laughs> And that is the reality that the country today needs a <laughs> step up in private investment and the business case for private investment, whether domestic or international. If you are making enough money but, uh, in, uh, in uh, the uh, Indian but, market, you don't particularly no, care no, for the aren't these, No, aren't these related? Uh, not as much for, as for, we like no, to believe. For business to be there, no, they no, have not to as be... much as we like to believe. Because if you make enough money, you can live with many difficulties in ease of doing business. <laughs> Look, so, so, so the key is to create a good climate where there is enough money to be made in business. Just ask where uh, China figures in the ranking. Yes, let's ask that. Uh, let's ask where does China figure in this ranking? Where does China figure on the corruption index? And where does China figure in the, in, in the global system? Look, the thing is, all this is all very well. But as uh, Ajay said, in the end, if I'm a businessman, what I want is to make money. Okay. And uh, so one, the one area where I think we should really worry is for the small and medium man, as he says in Kanpur. You know, that is where your employment growth is going to come. And if we don't, we must improve conditions <laughs> which will allow people to start enterprises in tier two, tier three places, start small and medium enterprises, allow these enterprises to grow, make sure that they don't face bottlenecks uh, of credit, power, uh, space, etc., etc. That is the real test. This is not the test of what the big guys want. But there I think it does make sense. And I would have a very focused approach and almost give myself this thought. Ask yourself, have I made life easier for this uh, uh, small entrepreneur in a tier three town? And to that I would add that uh, the ground reality is that life for the small businessman is still not getting better. Yeah. As far as the small that and also the medium is not still not getting better. And and what is, what needs to be done to get better? And where is the la where, where is the problem there? Uh, the problem there is that you have a whole political economy of rent seeking, yeah. which is not yet shrinking in most of the states. And as far as rent seeking is concerned, that doesn't that doesn't figure in any of the parameters here. <laughs> no, you can game the system as he rightfully say. So if the rents have been adequately played, all clearances will move very fast, as happens in many states. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, are you people trying to say that, you know, these these indicators are just that, you know, that, that we need not take it seriously? Would you, would you agree with that? No, I think we should take it seriously. And yeah. the two parameters which we need to take very seriously, and we are still not taking seriously, and where our rankings are the lowest, one is enforcement of contracts, and the other is insolvency. Now, in insolvency, we have a law in place, but there's a lot of hard work to be done that, to see that the system works efficiently. If that is done efficiently and well, maybe we'll see real improvement in three years' time. 
Enforcement of contracts, I don't think we have seriously begun because I don't see any consensus in society that we need to fix the judicial system of India. And when I was young, a great emperor in the Indian history was one who dispensed good justice. Yes. We have very good judgments. We have brilliant lawyers, but we don't have good justice. And that is not on the reform agenda as of now. And but you know, some, of the, some of the acts which have been already, you know, which already come into play but have not been implemented yet, some of them at least should, should make these things, should improve no, the, things. The, the, the problem in India is it's not the acts, it's the efficiency of the judicial process. And it needs very simple management tools and monitoring to see that judgments come in a reasonable period of time, you don't get undue adjournments and so on and so forth. Nobody is seriously trying to address these issues. Okay. See, now, for instance, Sir, yeah, there, there, there's a reference here. There's a, uh, to take the last point up. The other day, there was a suggestion, oh, let's have arbitration for contract enforcement. Are, arbitration is all very well, but you know how much it costs? <laughs> I, uh, I you know. know how much it, it costs? And, uh, those, it costs lakhs of rupees. Lakhs of now, rupees. I can't and, have enforced, and, it, and it benefits uh, very few retired judges mm. <laughs> at the end of and the so day. So I think, I think this idea that arbitration will solve the problem for the small and medium man it, it, remember this, a key part but then of he can the afford enforcement that kind of, of contracts for a small and medium man is being paid on time. And who is the biggest culprit? Government. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, we are now joined in by Ajay Dua, former secretary in the Ministry of Industry and Commerce Government of India. Ajay Dua, yes. How do you look at this whole ranking business? Before you came in, there's some, you, you, you've been hearing what has been said. I'm not willing to underplay this index or this uh, criteria for the simple reason that we in the government have always worked towards getting our ranking in it higher and higher. We have worked on it consciously. We have worked with the World Bank, including question their criteria, methodology. And now that we haven't improved, so I think it would not be <laughs> fair to say that this is not a fair system. No, and, of and, prime, and Prime Minister has put a lot of Absolutely. State, political personal capital, state political and personal capital into this. Pers political capital has been put in by the system much more than anyone else. The fact that it hasn't happened, or if you look at it, Girish, two days ago, the government was expecting that at least we'll go up by 10 ranks. Yes. With that, we have stayed there, or because of one position shift, etc., because one more country is got. That is a part. But I have two issues. One, I think some of these criteria which are there are not highly relevant for actually determining the position. One, we are going by only Mumbai and Delhi. Yes. Both these are metropolitan areas where we actually are trying to decongest. No, but one, one, so, one, sorry, sir. Is this the case in all the countries? No, Do no. they take up only two, two major cities? They take cities? up two, but the, the cities would be the <coughs> ones which are more relevant than which we have. You see, in Delhi... Why do you think that Delhi and Mumbai are not relevant? Or not point, as relevant? Yeah, I'll tell you. If it's trading, Delhi and Mumbai are relevant. We are talking about Mumbai where for last 50 years, the attempt has been to take industry out of Mumbai. And that it is not just trading, it's also manufacturing. is obvious when we look at building construction permits <coughs> and other kind of things also which have been added. Second, you see, at one point of time, there was a... Chandigarh city had been included. In, in these uh, the two cities which have been done. Second, I think some of these criteria by themselves are losing their, uh, losing their relevance. Construction in, in many countries now, and certainly in India and most cities, construction is now, a lot of people move into per buildings which have been constructed in industrial estates by the local infrastructure corporations, as well as the industrial development corporations and others rather than all go into, in Mumbai, hardly any industry goes to manufacture. They go into rented premises. Right. The, so, similarly, I think this issue of protection of investor interest is, is a societal goal, not necessarily a goal of the businessman who is investing in it. So, all that have, the, apart, I think what has been said a little while ago, and I, that every country is not bothered about it, China is at 74th position. Russia is at 40th position. And it is to a lot of countries which are in the... Even South Africa, Brazil, they're all... No, below. they're all ahead of us. But I like to draw something else. Ten countries which are not only has the World Bank ranked people who are, you know, according to the score where we have reached 55, last year we are 53.99 or 97. 
<coughs> the ten countries which have improved from the previous rankings, we don't even figure in that. Exactly. And that includes countries, countries that includes Pakistan as well. Right. So is there somewhere? Are we barking up the wrong pa way? Pakistan, Kenya. Yes, Kenya, UA. Darussalam. I hadn't heard of that country. Ba ba the, even even that comes in there. <laughs> no, no, I, I have the, country, the names of the countries which are very interesting. The 10 countries which have improved, Kazakhstan, Brunei, Belarus, Indonesia, Serbia, Georgia, Pakistan, UAE. You know, there are those kind of countries. They, and the lot of improvement has taken place in the sub-Saharan Africa. Yeah, absolutely. The, the okay, countries I, have been well, mentioned. The, let me just, you know, stop at this by saying that having accepted a methodology, not having achieved it, I think we need to look at what went wrong, saying okay. that next year we'll improve. We have always known that ranking for 2017 is done. There was no change in methodology by the absolutely. world. And it was May, they and we had time it. only till May. And tax, no. Tax they always look at till the previous year. Right. So when we are talking about GST, I'm afraid. And, this is a, and no, and this is applicable to all the countries. It's not just yeah, India. No, Girish, I'm just so. saying, we are saying that GST would be implemented next year. I'm afraid GST will not be taken into account next because the, what we will be looking we will at not be. is at the end of the year 2016, 31st December. And we are, as of now, talking of implementing starting its implementation from 1st of April. Right. Okay. Yes. Sir. <coughs> yeah. See, I think <coughs> the, uh, the indices are flawed in India's case. For example, you take just take enforcement of contract. Ease of business does not really come from it being able to enforce contracts easily. It comes from not having to enforce contracts. If you have a culture of trust, when you issue a check or if you have a contract, you expect to be paid. If you don't pay, then you go to a dispute, then you go to enforce the contract. In India, even if you do work for the government, in order to get a, a pay, a payment, huh, you need to go to arbitration, you need to get a, the arbitration. No, no, but why do, you say, why do you say that the, the, that the parameter is flawed? You know, the, 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 the system here is flawed. So, uh, yeah, the system here is flawed. So, for us to actually do business easily, you need to have a system where you don't need to go to enforce a contract. And no. on the, now, secondly. Yeah. Did the Tatas find it difficult to get a construction permit in Zingur? The government would have happily given a construction <laughs> permit. No, no, but huh? this is a Tatas. Tatas is not a small business. No, 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 no not a medium. Forget, business. forget it. I'm just saying. Huh. The point is how it's not how easy it is to get a construction permit. The issue is, can you get land to if you want to set up an industry, right? No. Okay. So many things you take for granted in many many other countries where an urban location to set up your business is available. It's not available here. Okay, Mr. Prasad. Mr. Prasad, do you, do you have a problem with the, with the parameters? Well, the, uh, as uh, Mr. Dua and some other panelists have explained, the parameters may not be the ideal ones, but it does give some direction to work upon. For example, I'll mention just two things. One, registration of property. One is the process, that is efficiency. And second is efficacy. Uh, by registering a property, are you sure that this property is litigation free? So there is a need for creating a database that tells you that this property has been properly registered and its ownership is clear and title is clear. Absolutely. Similarly, in terms of the, you know, the collateral, if you put your car as a collateral to your security to get the credit, there is a need to create a database where the lenders can look at the collaterals. So all the parameters may not be good, but fortunately this government is not just interested in those index. It is sincerely interested in ease of doing business, not necessarily part of this index management, but as a general goal of as a Make in India initiative, as a Digital India initiative, as a Skill India initiative. So I think in this government, there is an approach both to improve the ranking, whatever may be the methodology and the faults, and also to create an environment where you genuinely find the opportunity to do business, not only for the large business houses, but for the small them. business houses, okay. particularly when you see young population okay. entering the... Okay, okay, sir. Mr. Desai, you know, a point made by Mr. Dua that, you know, fine, we have accepted this government, governments have pursued it very rigorously in, the, in the, all these years. Now, what went wrong? 
My problem is that government may have accepted it. What I'm questioning is whether from the perspective of a small man say, trying to set up something in a tier three town, this is precisely what about. Incidentally, let me just say, did you rest, read out a list of the countries which have improved Improves. most? Improvers. I would they invite are Arun that the Economic Times to please put up a table one day on these 10 countries and their growth rate and how much investment they attracted. Yeah. How much investment did Pakistan attract? How much investment did Darul Salaam attract? <laughs> how much investment did Kazakhstan attract? How much investment did Belarus attract? Then we'll trust, start worrying about this index. Don't get carried away by this. The real issue is look at it from the perspective of what we are trying to do, which is employment intensive generation of small. The government is correct. I'm not problem. I have no problems with the government's approach. What I'm saying is don't hang everything on this uh, index. What I, where, I, where the index matters is the deconstructed. Look at the individual items. And like, the like what you, okay. Uh, Mr. And Mr. then you can ask yourself, Mr. Shankar, why, what is it that we can do to improve this? Mr. Shankar, what has gone wrong? Uh, if you look at the details of the World Bank report, a lot of the parameters on which our rankings are poor are ones where our processes have yet to be modernized sufficiently. So if the digital India and e-governance thing is sustained and it is not that I can apply online but the processing internally is manual but it is genuinely done in an e-fashion, then the days taken, man hours taken would shrink and in two, three years we should be able to rise substantially. But the two areas which needs real and substantive reform is, as I said, the judicial system. And I think it's time we address the inefficiency of the judicial system in the country and try to find and a solution. And arbitration, arbitration is Arbitration not is equally inefficient in this country. You don't get arbitration. So it is not the solution. So no, you have to find a solution to the judicial problem and not focus only on judicial appointments. Yes, Mr. The Dua. second is The second is that on the bankruptcy side, we have got a good law in place, yes. but needs a lot of work to see that on the ground we have an efficient user friendly bank absolutely uh, mr dua you know wh what is it that that needs to be done you know yeah, we let me just okay. we if have, we have to improve next year yeah first of january this year we brought in the bankruptcy the arbitration act we made the amendments in it whereby we have set a time limit that within 12 months an arbitration has to be completed unless it's unless and the maximum extension which is possible is by six months for reasons to be recorded and both parties agreeing sir to we it. don't then, have time very quickly yeah, the i think what needs to be done is i would say what is happening in the states we should continue to intensify it i am seeing a very positive thing by competition in among the, the states, states on 340 parameters yes subsets of each of these plus many more and i think the real the question point being raised earlier that small industry outside metropolitan areas etc that would certainly get addressed okay but alongside that i think we need to because as long as we are accepting this and the worst the world talks about it is ifc world bank index we need to also look at it how did new zealand jump so many positions okay how did look denmark come up there okay. and learn from them and cons go about okay. it in some of those manners okay so that is the that's the way out, you know, look at, look at the best practices in countries where, which are leading in these rankings and hopefully try to improve. That is, that is the, and that's what my panelists say. Thanks to all my guests. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue the big picture same time tomorrow.